listening to the Pharmacist Answers Podcast. I'm Cynthia, the pharmacist, and today you'll get your questions answered and your curiosity cured. One of the things that I'm passionate about as a pharmacist, but also as a member of the of body positivity and the Bopo tribe is loving yourself. And that's the message that Susie has really started. But for me, one of the ways that I really think that you can actually love yourself is to actually know about your body. From a health standpoint, if you know your body and how your body works, then you can make the best decisions about your body and how it's treated, whether it's medically. Just the same way that you know yourself and make strong stances on how you're treated as a person, whether you get treated or mistreated. One of the ways to love yourself is to know how your body works. And from a health standpoint, knowing what your organs do, knowing what, um, how the different tissues in your body works, knowing what they're for. And then that way you can know if something goes wrong then you can take steps to get your body back working again versus saying, well, I know I have a liver, but I don't know what my liver does, or I know I have a spleen, but I don't really know what it's for. Then it's hard if it, if something goes bad with it, it's hard for you to make educated decisions when a healthcare team is helping to treat you to get you better. So to know about your body and to know how your body works Yes, being an advocate of your own. There's a generation of, of people that I really see that they just trust wholeheartedly in the healthcare system. And sometimes that may not be the best thing for them to just say, okay, whatever you say, doc, you just do. That could be worse for them than, than actually helping them. So if you know how your body works and learn all the things that it does, then if it starts to break down and something goes wrong, you'll know it faster to be able to get help faster. And then as a healthcare team is helping you make decisions and choosing treatments, then you can, you can make the best decision for you, which may not be the best decision for somebody else. So knowing how your body works is a way for you to be able to love yourself and make your, your life as healthy and as long as possible. Um, another way to be able to love your body is if you have a chronic condition, know the ins and outs of it, know everything about it, all of the things that can go right, all of the things that go wrong. Um, I've got a friend, and I don't know if Miss Pat's still in here, um, but I've got a friend um, through Periscope and through Facebook and some other things that she has type 1 diabetes. She was diagnosed really young in her adult life, and she is living a full, positive, vibrant life as an adult with diabetes because she chose to learn about it and how it's going to work. Rachel's my diabetic hero, but she learned what to do. She learned how to make her body function as normal as possible so she could live a life as normal and positive as possible, even though she does have diabetes. So for any other chronic condition, whether it's things with um, autoimmune or whether it's things with digestion like irritable bowel or Crohn's disease, those types of things are chronic. They're not necessarily going to go away, at least probably not in our lifetime. But if you know the ins and outs of your disease and things that make it better, things that make it worse, then you can live a life as normal as possible and as long as possible and not use that disease as a crutch, but use it as Yes, and knowing the triggers, things that set it off that kind of send you into a bad season, being able to, to get out of that cycle rather than just suffering and suffering for a long time. Yes, and friends that can support you in those things, um, finding people who they may not have all the answers to be able to fix what you're suffering with, but they're going to love you through and they're going to support you through it and be positive because you can use those things as an empowering tool for yourself and for others who may need a voice into their darkness and their suffering with the same kind of thing, rather than using it as a crutch and saying, well, I can't do X because I have Y. So if you have a, if you have a chronic disease, knowing how it affects your body, things that you can do to minimize its effects over the long term so you can live a normal life, 
have a positive attitude and, and live to an old age despite what the doctors say you may be suffering with. And then the third thing that, that I believe is a very important thing for you to be able to know yourself and love yourself in that is doing the research about the decisions that you make. There are some people that trust wholeheartedly in the healthcare system. And if that's the case, you need to research the healthcare system. You need to research doctors. You need to research institutions you, like hospitals and clinics. You need to research insurances. And doing the research so you can make a decision based on how you choose to treat yourself is going to then make sure that you are treated the way you want to be treated. If you want to trust in natural remedies and try and let your body heal itself and nature heal your body for you versus man-made medicine heal your body for you, do your research. Research the pros and cons, the positive things, the negative outcomes that could happen because of it. So that way you are educated about your decision versus making decisions based on whatever cheerleader you hear screaming the loudest about whatever about you have to have everything organic and you have to have everything natural and you should only be using essential oils because of whatever reasons that they think only essential oils work and nothing else does. There's positive and negatives to everything and I really don't have a preference which one you use as long as you're educated about what you're choosing and you're not just following a fad because just the way that we choose to make our beautiful and feel beautiful about ourselves we can do that a hundred different ways but the definition of beautiful is the same we're all beautiful in that you can choose to heal and healthify your body in a bunch of different ways but as long as the outcome is healing and longevity and living a long full life I don't care which one you choose I just want you to be educated and know the reasons why you chose it, and being able to stand your ground if somebody comes against it, trying to force you to choose, make a decision in another way that you're not comfortable with. So I do pharmacist answers. I'm a pharmacist. I educate people on medicine in the mainstream healthcare system all the time. That's what my degree is in. But I do know that there are a lot of other natural ways to to bring about healing, and I'm all for that too. But my goal, rather than just preaching mainstream health care, my goal is more of empowering you. I want to see you empowered with knowledge to make the decision. I want to see you empowered with confidence to stand your ground about the decisions you make when other health care teams may be trying to sway you in one direction or the other. And I don't want you to make a decision that you're not happy with once you go home and you're not around those people. So being empowered with that knowledge, knowing your body, knowing how your body works, whether it's running perfectly or you may be suffering with something, but knowing how it works and how to get the most out of it for as long as possible because I want us to all be healthy. I want us to all live really long lives to see our kids and our grandkids and all of those things grow up and change the world for positive. Learning to love the way you look, but also learning to love your body and taking care of it and making yourself healthy so you can live a really long life. That's my passion. There's my soapbox for this Monday morning. I see so much of people going, mm, well, I don't really know how this works, and I don't know why the doctor told me to do this, and I don't know why the doctor chose to give me this medicine. Having the answers to those questions, whether you get it from a professional that you trust, that's a lot of reasons why people come to me at a pharmacy and ask me the question, because they can, they can get to me really easily. I don't require appointments. Having the answer to those questions allows you to, again, make the best decision for you and then trust, trusting the team around you that, that is trying to take care of you. My big thing is medical professionals, we spend a lot of t years in school and we spend a lot of hours reading out of textbooks, but I'm never going to find you in a textbook. And that's why I need you to talk back to me when we're making the decision about, about your health and the treatment that you're going to choose for whatever, whether it's a serious condition or just an acute condition, like a cold or a cut or whatever. Having the feedback and, and you having that knowledge to then present to your healthcare team to say, hey, I actually know what I'm talking about and you can't bully me into doing something that I don't want to do. We don't want, we don't want to be bullied based on our appearance or our gender. You don't want to be bullied into, into doing something, putting something in your body or treating your body with a certain treatment or procedure uh, that you're not, that you're not comfortable with. So 
changed your thyroid medicine. Yeah, see, and that's where you say we know what the textbook says about thyroid diseases and whether you're producing too much thyroid hormone or too little thyroid hormone. And we know the medicines that have been created, whether from, from natural remedies or synthetic remedies made in a, in a lab, um, and say, over the general population, these are the things that kind of work. But as soon as you put it in your body, you're going to know yes, this is working and making me feel better, or no, this is not working and I feel just as bad or I feel worse. And being able to communicate that to the healthcare professionals that are taking care of you is, is important. And choosing healthcare professionals that will actually listen to you and not try to bully you or steamroll you. Yes, exactly. You know your body better than anyone because I'm not going to find you in a textbook. I may find certain things that, that fit textbook, but you're not going to be a 100% textbook case. So knowing things about yourself, and sometimes it may not necessarily be about your physical self, but it's about your how you feel about certain treatments or, or how you feel about how invasive things are. Some people don't mind being really invasive because you get all the way inside and you get everything out and it's all fine. But other people are like, don't start poking and prodding me. Let's just start on the outside and work in until we fix it. So knowing, knowing where you stand on, on those decisions so you're not just bulldozed into, into some kind of treatment that, that you're not going to be happy with once you go home and start thinking about it by yourself. So anyway, bye. Thanks for listening to the Pharmacist Answers podcast. The pharmacy is now closed. You can post your questions and comments on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash farm answers pod. Or you can email the show at pharmacist answers here at gmail.com. You can tweet me or message me on Twitter at Sin Hendricks. You can find the show notes at pharmacist answers here dot wordpress dot com pharmacist answers broadcast live on monday wednesday and thursday at 902 a.m eastern time on the periscope app you can follow me at sin hendrix or view in your web browser at periscope dot tv slash sin hendrix see you next time on the pharmacist answers podcast <laughs>